Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready to continue the game? Well, game storyline I should say besides collecting stuff. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing this part. But first I've got a little teeny tiny side quest to do here. Did I ever go in here? Hold on a sec. I'm not... Um, yeah, I think I was in here before. I just wanted to check that just for sure. Alright, so yeah, now that you can move this bookshelf, you're able to access this little hole which takes you up to this portion of the cafe. What a nice smell! Mmm, num nums. I like those red hats the forest minish wear. <laughs> I like those blue hats the town minish wear. <laughs> I seen that one coming. I knew the city life would be exciting. Everyone here is so refined! Well, I, I said that with too much expression, actually. The forest minish have come for a visit. So yeah, the different kinds of minish here are mingling together. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna go out this door, which takes us to this plank that we've seen a hundred thousand times. Oh boy. Dangers are afoot. I wonder if I should clear out this, just so I have a clear shot at the moldozers. Knock you off the edge. Ha <laughs> ha! Get. Stop. No. Bad, but actually, you're kind of out of the way, so what am I worried about you for? Yeah, well, well anyway, where's the other one? Did, did, did I? I don't know. I thought I seen another one. I thought I did. I thought I left it alone. Excuse me. Only 10 mysterious shells. I've gotten way more than that from other prizes, but anyway, that's not the real prize that we're going for here. You'll, know, you'll notice that we're at Stockwell Shop here, and Hello, is anyone back there? No? Oh, well, I guess not. How odd. You probably noticed that bottle there a long, long time ago. Well, now you know. Oh. Hey, Cad! I knew there was someone here. What? When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. Ah, oh. Oh, yes, welcome, welcome. Please feel free to browse, not to carouse. But, anyway... <laughs> Grab this bottle. Well, talk to the bottle, I should say. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. Well, fine. If you feed Fifi, then I guess you can have the bottle. How does that sound? I will do it! Excellent, excellent. He's at my home right now. Thank you so much. Woo! And the bottle is as good as yours if you were to go over to Lake Hylia. If you recall, Fifi is the little dog at the north house of that place. I believe there should be a doggy dish for my... Yeah, excuse me. For my dog back in my house. Just face the dish and press R to dump the food into little Fifi's bowl. Okie dokie. That I will do later on. But for now, I'm going to trek back through all of this. And... Safely get my way over to the path where... Uh, actually, I gotta go to the library, I forgot about that. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here because I still haven't returned the uh, a second book to the library. I've just been hanging on to it in my inventory. Sorry! <laughs> so yeah, first get, get yourself back to normal. Now get your butt to the library. In fact, I'll get my butt to the library right now. But, uh, uh, dang mailman. Always zooming through town recklessly. Alright, library! Lady! Book! Oh my goodness! Will you look at that! It's our copy of Legend of the Bukuri! It has been checked off for so long. Link, you deserve a medal for all this! I am moved deeply, deeply moved by this thoughtful gesture. And it gets plopped up there. And now... And the last book we still need is A History of Masks. I think it was checked out by Hagen, the mayor. How could he keep up a library book for so long? He's a public official! Yep! The lot... The mayor is once again slacking. Uh, so let's go over and see what's up with the mayor. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's me, Hagen. I am mayor of this town. What's that? You want a book? A history of masks? And you say I checked it out, do you? Yes, indeed I did. Oh, wait, did I? Hmm. I wonder where we could get that. You know, these masks see everything that goes on in my private life. Maybe you should just ask my masks. Perhaps I should. But first, let's do 
a little flip-flop of sorts, and... Ha <laughs> ha That's what you get for taking the book. And yeah, you can actually knock the masks off the walls via the Pegasus boots. And that leads to a path to... Uh, <laughs> leads to a path up there to a Minish, which will hint us in the direction that we need to go. Hint, hint, it's Lake Hylia. <laughs> but actually, we need to go to... Uh, the place near Syrup's hut and dig through a, a, a path to get there. The mayor took off for his cabin by the lake, clutching a book. We saw him go, but after the chest was open, the road to Minish Woods was blocked. He won't be able to get through. And when the mayor came back, he didn't have that book anymore. I'm sure he just left it at his, lake, at his lakeside cabin. He's pretty forgetful like that. You want to go to the cabin by the lake? Well, just let me mark it here on your map. Uh, yes, there. It's right here. You should be able to find it now. And it's right at the bottom right corner of everything. Alright, there is our info. And now, all we have to do is go there. Sounds simple? Or is it? Actually, it is pretty simple. <laughs> In fact, uh, because I made the shortcut routes by pushing ye ol' boulders out of the way back here at the Lon Lon Ranch, I'll have a much, much easier time getting there than I did before. See? Haha! -ha. Let's go through here, and then you go through here, and here's the spot. Well, Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. All digging absolutely prohibited. So yeah, well it's not the spot just yet, but this is the spot that I'm going through. And be on the lookout for a mysterious wall in here, there should be one. I'm going to be looting the treasure in this place, of course, as I go through it. You know how this works by now, so I don't think I need to explain it. That's a trap, isn't it? Yeah, aha! <laughs> Single rupee trap. I don't think so. Uh, th those chests um, are for a different path through here, which is uh, which I'm gonna need an item for to get that. Oh, fake corner! No, 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 no. There's the mysterious wall. Let's fuse. And this makes yet another Goron appear. Oh, I guess I could have gotten the treasure chest uh, down in that place, but I'll, I'll clear out those chests when I go through that path later. That's one solid wall, no doubt about it. We're going to need some more health. And their wishes are granted. But still, we need one more Goron to break this final wall, and then we'll be able to get the awesome prize at the end of this place. Ooh, I can smell deliciousness just on the other side of that wall. Oh, thank goodness, help has arrived! And thus, they all keep trying to break the wall fruitlessly and endlessly, until the sixth member arrives. So there we go. That clears out this, and just... Ooh. Yeah, I'm going. It's backtracking now. I don't think there's any more mysterious walls here, actually. Yeah. Just wanted to check that to be sure. Alright, here we are at Lake Hylia. Well, a different segment of Lake Hylia, I should say, because we've already been here before, of course. Ah, uh, high contrast tree! But first, let's go inside his cabin to see what it's like. Mm hmm, there's a book. There's some. Um, <clears throat> well, I should say it's a pushable uh, um, house of wares, I guess you could say. I mean, w kitchen wares. Hagen's words of wisdom. If you can't solve a problem, just ram headlong into it. BAM! Well, I think this is a reference, but it doesn't actually work. See, uh, th I think this is a reference to a Link's Awakening where you would have to... Uh, well, uh, there's actually a couple of Zelda games where you can bash into a wall and knock things off. And you had to get a book off of the top of a shelf in the library, and you needed to do it with the Pegasus boots. Well, it doesn't work here, as you can tell. So you're going to have to find an alternate route, and I think you know what that alternate route is going to be. Yep. And, if you recall, long, long ago, I did a fusion which caused a treasure chest to appear on this route. Which is way, way at the end of this route, but a treasure chest is in this route nonetheless, so we'll be able to pick up that uh, fusion's prize right now. Since we're going through it, here we are, and it's a blue kinstone piece. And we got a little bit of lily pad walking, 
very easy stuff. If you have the power bracelets, you will not have any issues with that. And push the book down. And now we can pick it up as an I was gonna say as an adult, but no, as the regular size Link. There is no adult Link in this game. And there we go. Uh, I think on the way back, there are enemies. They just do that to mess with you. Yep! <laughs> oh no you don't. Oh jeez! <laughs> Not gonna deal with you guys. Back to normal size. And now I just can pick up the book. And bring it back to the library. Voila. I wonder what the mayor has to say about that. But before I go back there, since I got the bottle from the store, you know, from the back of the store, I'm going to warp to this Windcrest location, hop off here, feed Fifi, and get the game's third bottle officially. Uh, where is... There it is. Oh, I just talked to the bowl, that's right. I forgot about that. And Fifi is delighted. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to see if you had, if you had something to say, being a dog and all. The animals are probably the most interesting things to talk to, because they've always got something funny to say. My master Stockwell's been coming on far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Ah, it's the same thing. And, wow, I already ate all the food. Impressive. <laughs> Alright, let's get the flute out. Go back to the town. Well, town library to be specific. Ah, gotta love the flute. Saves so much time that I otherwise have to cut out. <laughs> And here we are! Final book! Wait, 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 wait! Mayor, let's see what he has to say about getting the book back. Just for the fun of it, because it's in my possession. You know these masks. No, no, because he has nothing to say about that, really. <laughs> well, he is a pretty absent minded mayor. Alright, now let's go to the library and see what you think about this. Would you look at that? I can't believe it. It's our copy of an ancient ma history of masks. That mayor of ours is a real piece of work, isn't he? It must have been quite a challenge to get this back for him. Not really. It was pretty easy. Well, if you, uh, well, I guess because I, I knew what I was doing, but still. You are my new favorite person, Link. Thank you so much. And, you know, Link, now we've returned all of our overdue books. Now I can finally get that bookshelf on the second floor in order. Hey! Sturgeon! Books the shelf! Remember that old guy on the second floor of the cane? Yes, yes, here I am, I'm here! I'll I'll have these books put away. Look at these splits! He's super fast! <laughs> He's certainly not as old as he looks. Well, I mean he his body is pretty young, he looks old, but I mean he but he but his actions are pretty special. <clears throat> spry. The bookshelves are back in order. Ah, I feel so, so renewed. Enjoy your browsing. Indeed. And I shall carouse now by going up to the bookshelves. And I think you know what's coming here. Because I've already been through here before, but you know, gotta go through here now that we have everything back in order. Now you notice that there is a book with a spine that leads to the left side. Hey, 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 listen up, listen good, the books are back now! It's true, it's true, haha! -ha! Now we can get back to Elder Labari! So you brought the books back, good for you, thank you! Please take this as a sign of our thanks. And you get 50 rupees if you talk to him. What do you give me if you give me anything? Actually, I don't think you give me anything, but I just want to see if you give me something. Ah, it's so nice to have all my lovely, uh, all my little books in a row. I said lovely instead of little. I think I'm reading too fast for my own good. <laughs> I think it's a reference to ducks being in a row, you know that saying. Mm -hmm. Ah, the handiness of human books. Do, 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 do. No, not all honesty, I prefer to get my information from the internet. It's easier to look things up. <laughs> uh, can I? Oh, I can fuse with you right now. Awesome. This is the, I think the last fusion that I have to do in this, uh, uh, 23 fusion run here that I've been doing, and this gives me a chest back at the Wind Ruin. So, not a chest. It's a golden Octorok. I guess I'll go pick that up later. I don't, I don't really feel like backtracking there for now. 
They fit beautifully. This is a sign of good things to come. All right, let's talk to him officially now. Oh, 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 oh a visitor after many long weeks. Even Jastari has been away for so long. I've grown almost lonely. But what is it? What do you need? Hmm, you want to visit the Temple of Droplets? Very well. You are the first such a brave person in a long while. Stand on the clover in front of me. Okay. All right, all right. You kids stay. No patience for an old man. Well, just stand right there like I told you. Okie dokie. Ho ho ho! Now, open! Secret mystery panel! Uh-oh. Woo! <laughs> oh ho! Wasn't that fun? Now then. It's up to you to pass this trial safely and recover the item you require. Oh, what fun. I do so love the real nitty-gritty of adventuring. Let's do the trial. Let's first find a way out of this corner. <laughs> oh, I just smacked my hip on something. Well, not my hip. My whatever it is I have now. My brim? Whatever. That old fool must love sending people on dangerous missions. And how did that Lombari get to the Temple of Droplets? Let's anyway. I guess the answer lies up ahead. Keep moving, boy. I think. Yep, that's what I thought. All right. Out of my way. I'm a man on a mission. Uh, actually, I'm a boy on a mission. Come on, there we go. Just wanted to make sure I got it at the tip so I could swing far ahead. Whee! And now, this is the room that I thought um, I was going to be introducing a new enemy to you before, but I got the rooms mixed up. So let's go in here and face down the Scissors Beetle with their snarly pincers. It's not all that hard of an enemy. All you have to do is just wait for it to throw its pincers at you, and then it's pretty much vulnerable to anything. <laughs> and just watch the pincers on their way back. There we go. And... You probably know what we're getting here. It's the flippers. We can glide through the water with A and press B to dive, and they're automatically equipped. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. Why, it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? Navarre used these flippers to swim, in t swim to the entrance of the Temple of Droplets. So if you put these on, you should be able to swim too. Remarkable. I don't know why he would have to swim, like, with flippers, because I'm pretty sure humans don't necessarily need flippers, and there we go, yeah, dive there and you'll be able to get a, a green large rupee. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, actually, um, over here, this is actually a missable thing, uh, but it's not necessary to get to 100% the game, but uh, if you get, if you don't get this before you reach the final dungeon, you'll be locked out from being able to get in there. Ah, uh, that's where we just were. So let's go back this way and see... I think, just think, there is something... Hmm, hmm guess not. <laughs> I guess there's just that one waterfall I had the rupee. Just wanted to be sure about that before I uh, jump to... I should say, get out of here. Alright, now, this will lead us to this hole. Yes, to this hole. And now we are able to cross both sides here at the moment. But more importantly, we gotta, we gotta get ourselves back to normal size. <laughs> so let's pop ourselves back out here. There we go. And now that I got this... Oh, I shouldn't have went through the library. I should have just, should have just warped from on top of there. Because it's much faster to do that. I should have just did this. Woo! And back to Lake Hylia. Now from here... Oh, <laughs> I could use that hurt. That right there is the Temple of Droplets. We gotta swim our way over there. But along the way, I'm going to uh, briefly explore Lake Hylia because we haven't really been able to do so because we didn't even have the flippers. I'm, not, I'm going to leave like uh, side routes such as that for later. Well, actually, I can't do that now until I get an item from the 
from two dungeons later. And as a matter of fact, I can't even get this heart piece that's greatly mocking me. <laughs> because it's on a piece of land that I have to get to a different way because I can't climb out of the water on that. Yeah, it's kind of mean of them to do so. But anyway, that right here is the Lakeside Cabin. We've already been there. But more importantly, this is why I'm down here. This piece of hearts. Yeah. Um, over here, this is, oh, didn't mean to do that. This is the other section of the woods with uh, Syrup the Witch's Oh wait, this isn't... Oh right! This isn't Syrup the Witch, it's another swordsman guy. Forgot about that. Oh, you definitely want to come here. You are found the true master swordsman of Hyrule! Waveblade! Yeah, I might as well do this now. <laughs> if you train with me, I will teach you skills that will make you a master! So, would you like to train here? Please. Now you will learn a dangerous technique for desperate times. The Barrel Beam! First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, I do. So, there is no turning back now. One must feel a technique of copy paste, copy paste, except change name. <laughs> yep, it's a sword beam when you have low health. You recall the sword beam in other Zelda games where, you, where when you have maximum health. Well, this is like the opposite. And what will happen here is it'll actually drain your health to the very minimum just so that you can swing your sword. And don't worry, he'll recover your health back. <laughs> Woo! So there is the peril beam. And there's my health. Now there is nothing more that I can teach you! Your training from now on is all in your mind! The way of the sword leads ever upward! Yes! Yes, indeedly do. Uh, since I'm on this patch of land, I might as well just give it a little ex exploration, I suppose. As a matter of fact, I think there's actually a um, uh, shortcut stone to push. Uh, yes, that's what I thought. Yep, yep, yep. That leads back to... Um, where Fifi is, and that's really all there is to explore, isn't there? Alright. Uh, I'll leave that for later as well. Here we are, at the Temple of Droplets, of which I'm going to start in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.